Hi and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me in the back garden for a little bit of a go through of a new product that I've got to test from MIDI and uh, it's all about the EVA and this bad boy is the EVA Pro Carry All and it is a beauty. Before we get into it, just a little bit of thing about EVA at the moment over the last few years it's sort of revolutionised how we store, prepare and look after bait. Um, myself, I've, I've got a plethora and have had a plethora over the years, Gurus, Preston, all those kind of things um, to keep my bait secure. And a lot of the times now, I, I do have everything in, in one little EVA tray, which I'm gonna go into because there's one of those bad boys in here as well to go through as well. So, the EVA Pro from MIDI. Just looking at it, it looks a fantastic looking bag and when you actually pick it up and feel the quality and the zips it does feel like a really well put together uh, product and super super waterproof and that's why i'm going to test that in a little bit later on but the first thing that strikes you is this handle system and i've not actually seen this before but where the lock in and i've got a lot of uh, bait bags and a lot of other bags, especially when you've got weight in them, they, they're obviously Velcro and they do work, but then after a w amount of time, they will wear and they will come off and you'll end up obviously not getting the, that together motion that you that you need to have the handles together. So this system, real simple design, really strong, durable plastic. You stick that over and that's it together and it's super strong. It does also come with a strap, um, which is, fits my shoulder quite easily can stretch a lot bigger for you taller guys now i've been using this um for a couple of weeks and they've been, i've been throwing it up and down the river that's why it looks like um it's got obviously marks all over it but the reason i've done this is there's two reasons one obviously i'm getting more uh, river things to carry but also i feel that the strongest most robust test to try something like this most people are going to get them for commercials and that's what they're aimed at but rivers you're in uneven territory you're slipping and you're throwing your bag down because you slip or they're getting mud on it they're getting th pulled through brambles they're getting you know they get a real bit of hammer and these have been this is no different this has been through bramble bushes it's been through everything thorns all that kind of stuff so i will be interested to still see if it is waterproof so once we take this off i mean i love the orange for a start that's, that's amazing sort of uh, bright and vibrant i like uh, as most people that are a little bit tarty we do like the colors um, and as you see it's an absolutely massive um void of a box it does keep in sort of a lot of gear and, and i was surprised at how much stuff it got is it go it gets in there and if on the bottom uh, I'll, I'll just mention briefly before we go into inside the bottom part of it, they've, they've put sort of like a nice sealant in there. Now what I've I've had problems with in the past, I'm not gonna go into which brand it was, but when you've certain put, certainly put some weight into them, and the bottoms give away after a little bit amount of time, and that's to do with the thread and obviously the silicone that they put into it to make it um, not leak. And the thread and everything on this just feels a lot more solid. So I'll take up my, my rod pod tops and I will get into the other things that are here. So, the first one that comes with it is again, the Bait Pro. Now, like I was saying before, this is not normally how you guys were gonna do it, and then I'm gonna take these bits out and show you how you guys would probably um, store this. But again, clear top so you can see everything. Um, really good, strong zip, zips again. Now, I've got a selection of my river stuff in here, so I've got bits and bobs, um, bite alarms, um, you know, bits of bait, EVA, P PVA bags, all that kind of bits and bobs. All the things that I need quickly, that if it does rain, I can just zip that top on and it stays dry, which is really important to me. So I'm gonna take these out a second because I just wanna show you a little bit about why they're so good. Right, so if you're turning up to a match or you're preparing your, your bait beforehand, and let's just take these little tubs, for example, a couple of tubs here, bit grim but put put in a couple of bait tubs the other tub that i've got 
uh, to test as well, which is the pellet case. And again, EVA and it's hydro seal. So again, it's super full, fully waterproof, um, which means when you get your pellets, like I had these and I was catting them out uh, onto the river, I know that when I zip that lid on, even if I leave them out in a downpour, they're gonna stay dry, which is really important. So as you can see, they can f everything can fit in there and it could fit another one of those or even another bait tray in there. Or even if, say, if I've got some, some hooker pellets like this, I've got three, three big tubs of hooker pellets there and you can set up that tray ready to go. I know this one's a bit grim. Don't, don't judge me on that one. It's, uh, we're raining when we put everything away. So you can obviously have your pellets, you can have maggots, you can have some other types of pellets in there. You, you, your expanders, for example, you've got some other pellets and that can all be ready and that can just be zipped up zipped up ready to rock and roll and then when you turn up to the venue you can plank plonk that on your box on your side tray unzip that really easy to zip the, the the thing is the zips as well they don't they don't stick together sometimes they on the evas they, they're a bit difficult to zip or they're zipping the material and it's really a ball like if you actually look at this the material sits slightly pr uh, lower down and the sort of EVA sits proud of it, which means that you don't get those nipping bits with additional bits of fabric, which drives me insane when you do that and you're trying to zip them forward and back, forward and back, and then you end up breaking them. So in, in this bad boy, you can see it's absolutely massive. And you can see there where they've got the, the additional extra stitching for where the handles are going into it. And it really, and, and again on the inside here and, and there, it's super solid and uh, you can fit a lot a lot of kit in here so if you imagine uh, well, let's let's put my uh, my bits back together and we'll show you exactly what I what I fit in it so I obviously uh, have, a, have quite a bit of uh, a gear to go down to the river and uh, a lot of you guys are going to use these for feeders and for for bait tray setups which is totally totally perfect for exactly what they're designed for but for you guys that are even specimen or going out for with pike piking stuff or anything like that um, that little carry-all you could just stick it over your shoulder and take all your bits and bobs out and it's perfect for that you don't need to mess about it fits in my long my long pliers which I use for piking and uh, fits my scissors and everything in there and then I have all my additional bits and bobs and my PVA bags and that bad boy is perfect for me and yeah you can use it for bait but you can also use it for that you can even fill it with ground bait because the corners are easy to wash out and they don't it's not fabric um, you could fill that with ground bait if you're going on a bream session or a, a reservoir or anything like that and you could have that you can zip it on and off if it's raining and you haven't got a hood um, you could have half of it as one of the EVA trays which mid midi do as your bait and then the other one two there could be your maggots your casters or your worms for example so in there i've got a sort of a decent size tackle box and a little tackle box in there and then this fits perfectly the same width of the inside internal wise fits bang on inside there and again i push that that bait tub down there that other bait tub sits on top in that corner and then I put these, uh, and these are full size bite alarm tops and they fit diagonally perfectly across there, which is great for me because I'm always trying to carry them separate and I don't want them in dark to drop out and, you know, end up down banking or anything like that. And the other thing is then on top of that fits my GoPro case. So I've got all my GoPro case in there for filming and I can still fit in bottles of juice and things like that. And I, I also have a towel in there and I sometimes just throw my phone in the top just because again if it rains i can just fold that lid over and work away but the other thing is i use the top as a table because it's quite a solid top and um, when i'm doing stuff and, and i'm making rigs i actually use the top as a little bit of a table um, which seems to work out really well as well so just for the test now what i'm going to do i've got my phone here really expensive samsung although the phone itself is waterproof we're going to zip this bad boy up and we're going to fill up one of my big bait buckets of water and I'm going to pour it over top and we'll see how waterproof it really is. Right guys, so as if by magic I now have a bucket of water at the side of me and we're going to ch test out how waterproof this really is because it classes itself as completely waterproof and it's aqua proof as they call it. Um, 
yeah, I'm interested to see. I, I am very hopeful. Um, I, it did rain quite heavily when we were out in the river the other day and everything was perfect in there, apart from when I left the lid completely off and that's my fault. So ooh, we've got a good old thing of water here and we're just going to go for it. Now that's a proper full bait bucket full of water. That's no joke boys. That is no joke, full, bo full ball bucket of water. So let's have a look. I'm gonna gently tip this off backwards. And if you see, absolutely stone dry, nothing. And then you look in the inside, nothing, apart from the little drips what I've, I've got when I've just opened it up. Absolutely bone dry. You can see on the top of everything in there, not a morsel. And let's be honest, that's just simulated a downpour. You're not gonna get that, apart from sticking it in water and it and still won't leak even if you do that so you know real world testing um it's a great bit of kit i'm getting on really well like i said i've had it for a couple of weeks now it's been it's been out in the bank three or four times on real jungly pegs thrown up and down slid up the bank in um, it's done several overnighters with me it's gone through every rain it's gone through a bucket of water um and it's you know it's not it's it's not got light stuff in it it's you know there's a lot of weight there three ounce feeders stuff like that in there and i know a lot of guys are going to do it commercially but i just want to show you that as well as it can be commercial it can also go towards your specimen anglers or your people that are fishing the rivers um, and want a really durable bag that can fit a lot of gear in that's not that massive but quite deep um, and you know easy to carry and comfortable to carry in and a good shape to stack on a little uh, river sort of um, wheelbarrow or anything like that to take out and um, just a great bit of kit and putting your pellets in those in those little zipping pellet boxes that fit inside as well makes it a lot easier the fit the, the design to fit inside the box as is the bait tray accessory or accessory is, is what I'm using it for uh, box that fits in there perfect so I can take that out that can sit side here it can sit on top of there um, and then you can put more stuff inside here I like I say I had my GoPro um, and, and it's a decent depth of case and width fits perfectly on top of there I had towels they had all sorts of other bits in there as well so it does fit a lot of gear in there they're around I think they're going to be around 60 to 70 pound I'm not 100% sure on the pricing yet um, but if I, if I can find that information out for you I'll stick it up now in the corner um for you and just to make sure that we're giving you accurate information uh, there will be more products coming i've done a lot of reviews on um the sphere pt plus pole i've done the power partner pole uh, which is the sphere's little uh, margin and i've done the the m1 pole i've got the gabolino uh, cap uk4 coming on on the channel um so that, I'm, I'm excited of that uh, we've got lots of other, uh, we've got the Sphere uh, luggage as well on there. We've got lots of other stuff coming. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be some other things uh, floating from MIDI. I've got some uh, landing net heads uh, that I know, the Aqua Dry ones, which are coming from MIDI to trial, along with a few other bits. So there's lots of tackle information coming with, of all scopes. So, you know, cheaper stuff and more expensive stuff and middle of the road stuff. So we're making sure that we're covering all the bases and that, you know, everybody's getting to see all of the price points to make sure that we're getting the best information and the best deals as always if you've got any questions about any products that you've seen then obviously get in touch with myself and um, i'll put a link to midi's website you can go directly to there to see the other products that they've got and obviously if you've got any questions about the range just email myself um, and i'll give you any information that I, that I have on that um, also if you uh, you look on our, our playlist we've got um, a lot of different poll reviews and a lot of different sections ones with uh, the challenge videos the ones with the features there's, there's lots of different things to have a look through now on the youtube channel and um, so have a, have a look through there if you could like share and subscribe with your friends put on the little bell icon and it'll just notify you when the next uploads are up and uh, go on the facebook group uh, angling for you and the instagram angling underscore for you to be more in touch with us directly with messages and comments on the groups uh, share your photos and things like that and until the next one, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines.